Today we're going to show you how to create embellishment using molds. You can uh, use a pre-purchased mold such as the one I have here from Amico, or you can create your own mold using a variety of buttons or metal findings. Now I have pre-colored my pellets using some copper color embossing powders and I've melted my pellets using the hot water method with an electric skillet that I've set to approximately 160 degrees. It's just below a simmer. And what you'll do is you'll roll your pellets up into a ball, gather your mold, and just simply press them into the mold and work them into all of the corners of the mold. If uh, by chance your plastic happens to get a little stiff and doesn't really want to go into all the nooks and crannies, then simply place this back into the hot water bath for a few seconds and soften your plastic up and then continue to work. Once you have completed uh, filling up the entire mold, then you can cool this by placing this into a cold water bath and it will set the plastic. Alright, now I've released my embellishment from the mold, so we're just going to set this aside. And at this point, you may have to do a few little corrections, and that's the beauty of Friendly Plastic, because you can place any edge or the entire mold back into the um, hot water and redo it if you don't like the way that it turned out. Now, if you have any cracks, again, you're simply going to dip this where the crack is in the hot water and just use your finger to smooth. It looks okay to me, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to apply some patina color. This is Rub and Buff. It's a metallic wax rub-on. I'm just going to use my fingers. I'm going to get that way down into the cracks. And we're going to do this rather randomly because this is going to look like aged copper when we're finished. You can apply as much of this patina or as little as you want. It's looking pretty good there. Alright, we can even rub a little bit of this off with our towel here and over here. Now I'm going to come back in with Autumn Gold. This is also Rub and Buff and I'm going to apply it over the entire surface of my embellishment and this will make it look like it's a piece of aged copper. Okay, now normally I would go over the entire surface so let me show you what that looks like on a different one. This is a different mold but it's in the same uh, family group and you can see how that looks like aged copper there. Now also this is a great way to simulate bone. bone. The pellets I've colored with a cream color acrylic paint and then I've pressed it into one of the tribal molds. It's also an amico mold. And after I've cooled it and released it, then I went back over with just some brown acrylic paint. Also, to make the most of your metal embellishments, maybe um, you only have one and you want to use it over and over again, make a mold of it. And again, this is a mold that I've made off of a, a metal filigree embellishment. I also have a mold that I've made from a Sweetbriar Patch Lady. She was actually, oh, her face is a little dirty there. She was actually quite a bit of fun to paint, and I'm really not finished painting her. But you can also see that you can apply acrylic paints and a variety of other things to the friendly plastic pellets after they've cooled. So in your next project, consider using friendly plastic pellets with molds to add that extra touch to your home decor projects, your handmade cards, scrapbook layouts, or even your altered art projects. And when you do, send us a picture of them. You can contact us via our blog at friendlyplastic.blogspot.com. Well, that'll do it for another episode of Friendly Plastic TV. I'm your host, Linda Peterson, and I'll see you again next time.